Contours are concise and perceptually meaningful representations of images. While image-to-contour methods exist, recovering an image from contours remains an open problem. In this work, we show that given sparse contours and gradient information on contour pixels, high-quality reconstructions can be obtained through our model. Contour representation has been studied in the literature of diffusion-based methods for image compression and editing, but such methods cannot synthesize texture. Thus, when the contours are sparse, the reconstruction is overly smooth. Better reconstruction can be obtained through denser contours, but these contours are difficult to manipulate. We show that by using a deep generative-based model, we can overcome these limitations and get high-quality reconstructions with significantly less information. Here is a close-up comparison. Our reconstruction from only 8% of the contours and gradients contains more details and sharper edges than the diffusion results from 18% of the contours and gradients. The recent pix to pix method, which uses a binary contour map as input, fails to preserve important image properties such as skin tone, highlights, and hair color in this example. This shows that it is too ambiguous to use only the location information of contours. Local information, such as gradients, is crucial for high fidelity reconstruction. This is the pipeline of our system. We first trained a network to reconstruct the overall color and structures from the input. We then reconstruct high frequency information, such as texture and fine details, using a conditional generative adversarial network. A discriminator was trained to classify the synthesized images as fake and the ground truth as real, while the generator was trained to fool the discriminator. Here we show reconstruction as a function of input contour sparsity levels. Because of the ability to hallucinate high frequency information, our model can obtain high quality reconstruction even when the input is very sparse. At 2%, the complete nose is reconstructed with only a few strokes at the bottom. At 5%, Many hair details show up even though the contours don't capture them. Here we show the animation of the reconstruction as additional contours are added. The quality starts to saturate even with only 7% of contours. We also show results on dogs and birds, trained on dogs and birds databases respectively. The results show that our model learns to properly hallucinate natural texture and structure such as the fur of the dog, even in large regions where no input information is provided. For this bird example, continuous stripes of the feather patterns were hallucinated even though the input contours are sparse and discontinuous. The output is plausible even though it does not match the original input. We have built a simple user interface where the user scribbles to select, then move, scale, or delete contours. Because of the sparsity of our representation, these operations are very intuitive. In this example, we create a caricature of a person's face by editing contours. Our editing results demonstrate that our model encodes semantic information about the training data. Hence, local edits in the contour domain are translated into coherent changes in pixel space. Here we show that our model can synthesize hair by simply dragging the hairline down. By comparison, content-aware fill does not synthesize semantically correct hair patterns. In this example, when dragging the eye area of the person, our model adapts the connecting facial lines around the nose to accommodate the change. In this example, we removed the white hair region of the dog's head by simply removing the contour around it. Compared to content-aware fill, our model produces more plausible texture for the hair. In this extreme editing example, our model respects the modified contours and doesn't produce new image content not specified by the contours.